Oh. <laughs> Welcome. Just, to, you know, I just touched his nasty dick's mask. You My just mask? touched his mask? That's a brand new yeah. mask. I need some hand sandy. I don't got any, and I don't believe wow, in it. Dude. I gotta burn my. You just gotta lick them, lick lick your mitts, there, Mikey. Um, <laughs> so we're back, folks. Um, star-studded lineup again, triple threat. First <laughs> podcast uh, with three people with the new setup. I like the new setup. And today is uh, episode number one hundred and twelve for uh, Thursday, February tenth, and. <sighs> I'm just really excited um, just about everything, right? This nigga Kyle sound like the fucking narrator. <laughs> That's just my day job. I'm just at the office. You this should. is... I wish we had headphones, too, so we could hear what we sound like. Oh, right. sorry, boys. Oh. You probably well, sound... Well, I, I sign the check, so I get the fancy... You probably idea. sound so beautiful in them headphones, bro. <laughs> Well, I'm the, you know, I'm kind of the producer and the talent. Yeah, we see that. I'm the pretty face and the brains mm -hmm. of the, of, and uh, I sign the checks. Yeah. Yeah, but. Um, we just sit over here, talk shit, sit. ask for Heineken, get Modelo. I'm kind of like, um, who's that? Michael Jackson's father, like trying to corral everybody. Oh, yeah. Just beat our ass. What's his name? Joe Jackson? Is it Joe Jackson? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of the Joe Jackson. This is Michael, and then who are you? Who do you want to be? I'll be Tito, I guess. Tito Jackson, Randy. okay. Or, yeah. Or I can be Janet. <laughs> <laughs> Janet was good, too. She was... Titty came out in, in the Super Bowl before. Yeah, Titty. Remember that? Titty. I actually have a funny story about that. Let's hear it, baby. My uncle that, uh, Pete, remember that you almost drowned in his yeah. pool? <laughs> that's a whole other story god yeah. damn yeah <laughs> that's not this funny, podcast it, no it's funny now but I this know, podcast okay. wouldn't be a thing if uh little all us weren't friends but shout out to pete no no oh. my bad go ahead um we were watching the super bowl that year whenever the time that it was that that happened but i was at my uncle's house and then went back home to my parents because it was halftime mm -hmm. like my cousin drove me or something and then they were all like oh my god like her titty came out <laughs> and i was like i was young at the time so i was like what do you mean and i just never even like knew what the fuck to think about it that's funny you just said that you think you saw a, a titty before that time ever like where or was it come or well you i guess you didn't see it because they said your uncle said that he saw the titty. You didn't see the titty. Well, no, I got home and it was like a topic of discussion because my parents had like a separate party. But a I was titty party. No, I don't think <laughs> it was a titty, titty party. party. <laughs> yeah. no, it was just like a Super Bowl party. But before that, I did not see said nipple on television broadcasted live. Mm. But. Nice At that one. young of an age, we could fact check it, I guess, of what year that was. But DVR was around. I remember that. <laughs> was it for real? Yes, it was. <clears throat> well, I probably saw a titty on, like, watching La Bamba. You ever watched La Bamba? That was a good movie. Richie yeah, Valens story. But we were talking about the fucking Girls Gone Wild commercials the other time. Oh, that like, was a good one too. Oh, like late at night. Well, yeah, me and Matt yeah. would have like sleep. Well, you were having sleepovers here too when you were with um, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> That's a different topic of That's, discussion. Yeah, I hope Shouts she out across. The I hope street. she doesn't tune in. Hopefully, my fiance doesn't tune in either. Yeah, no, don't even. It doesn't. I mean, you were literally like twelve or thirteen. <laughs> I was like eleven, probably. Yeah. I don't know. That's, That's funny. Um, yeah, Brittany. Yeah, what a gal. I don't know what she's up to now, but. Hopefully, um, Doesn't she live across the streets, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, keeping her mitts out of the out of the tough stuff. <laughs> either way, <laughs> either way, she's uh, damn. She's basically a family friend, so it's all it's all love and <laughs> love and whatever. <laughs> but I don't even know what I was. Oh, yeah, I was love saying we would falls. have sleepovers. And, yeah, love in the falls could have been a TV show. Pretty much could have been like we like. 10 and 12 year olds running around my house smoking pot in the basement and then people you know like uh how would i how do you even say it not getting not mutilating wet. but like you know just getting silly with each other 
Just people joshing around. People jacking off. I yeah. Mean, messing around. No, jacking yeah. I mean, I mean, messing around. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't jerk off with your friends when you were 10, were they, are they really your <laughs> no, friends? No, no. That's no, how that's how brothers are made. <laughs> um, that's how dinner's made. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think I was trying to before that whole tangent went off about sleeping over, and then you'd see like the girls gone wild commercials. But that's pretty much the girl on your face, fucking. Right now, if you call, you can get. Yeah, it depended which channel. It was either Girls on Wild or George Lopez. Yep. Intro music, and it just woke you up out of a dead sleep. Mm -hmm. Or them oldies. Yeah. Put that's true. your head on my shoulder. And I'd that's be a like, good tune. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, the comp compilation CDs. Mm -hmm. Wake up and listen to that shit for like 10 seconds and go right back to sleep. Or some random shit on like a robot chicken. Mm -hmm. Just some completely off the wall shit. You open, <laughs> you open your eyes in the middle of the night, and there's like. <laughs> Yep. Some dude falling off a cliff, getting hit by, like, burning school buses or something <laughs> fucked up like that. I don't know if y'all had this, but, because <clears throat> I would always stay at Casey's house when we, were in, when we were in, like, ninth grade. These go crazy. And fucking, this dude had, like, the Fuel TV package, so we would always just fucking watch Fuel TV, son. I, I, ne I never knew what the fuck that was, either. Fuel well, TV. Fuel TVs, that was what on, um... It was some wild. It was like fifty five or TV something. Or yeah, something? it was like two fifty five or some shit. But it was like showing skateboarding, BMX, snowboarding, and fucking and like skate videos and shit. That's where I seen like the fucking toy machine video the first time. And fucking, I used to wake up to that shit. That shit was dope. But did you guys see the Chris Haslam Day One song? New fucking cheese and crackers. There's a new one out. They made like a. It's not like a new video, but they made a page. And they put like all their videos on there. Shit's hot. No, on Instagram. Like, it. Yeah. No. <clears throat> Shit is I did not. But yeah, I feel like Robot Chicken is like half of like all of our senses of humor, kind of, or just stupid shit a like that. Adolescence character development. Yeah, that just kind of. <laughs> it's. I just stopped developing after I, my sense of humor after I was like twelve years old. And just I never really watched that. Robot Chicken? I never made it a point to, but if it came on after something else and it was just on, we would fuck with it. Or maybe like South Park. Probably South Park more than Robot Chicken. Yeah, we, I watched remember, a, we watched a lot of South Park. I remember always just having the box sets, because back in my day, we used to have to buy DVDs, and you couldn't just stream, you know, stream stuff, right? Blockbuster. Um, or or family video is kind of like the custer. Family video is the because uh, they had like a family porn video nigga blockbuster. I know, but I'm saying I'm trying to say that family video is like the dark horse out of blockbuster and family video. Do you think? Because family video is kind of like the shittier. Like they sell CBD, they have a porn section. <clears throat> well, no, because family video is closed down there's still one more blockbuster around yeah. yeah but i think family video was like later on in our life too. yeah that was yeah that was after that's why blockbuster that i mean there's still a store around so yeah they're i was going to blockbuster and still like getting excited over getting a gumball yeah and family video and i was like uh -huh. walking through that black uh the curtain mm -hmm. it's like oh you go through there you remember that we'd go in yes, there and we'd open up the fucking shit and there's like oh there's no disc in here you nope. get it behind the counter never is <laughs> there never is um you might get lucky yeah <laughs> um pull, imagine might that just be like fuck it we should let's like people actually go to those porn stores that are like talk of the town and then the one place that was in, next to Dee Dee's, the video fucking liquidators or whatever. I knew I knew somebody that worked in there, and I knew somebody that worked in another one. I'm sure they're doing very well now. The one was John <laughs> Crowley, and the other one was uh, Hooker. <laughs> just say their name. Big Hook. <laughs> just, Shouts out to John. He wouldn't care. Shout we, out to them. <laughs> bro. People. Son. 
I had something that was. Oh, I got. I had something I was going to say. My bad, Kyle. No, but no. I I don't know if you want to say like incriminating things about these people, but go ahead. No, nah, I mean not so much Hooker because I only went to the one by Dee Dee's like one time, and yeah. to, that was to see him and to see what the fuck that store was about, and it was weird. I've never as been shit. in a porn shop before. <clears throat> like, going to talk of the town, dude. Just go in there and be like. Just see what it is, dude. <laughs> like, because I had to check it out for myself too. If you're an employee at a porn store, do you get to like go jerk off for free on your break? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what should I mean? I'm not speaking for anybody, but wouldn't you do that already? Fuck, go into the porn store and jerk no, off. No, no, just in your free. I mean, shit, in your free time. Well, yeah, but. I feel like it would either be a super horny person that would work there or just someone who is just like, what's that, a celibate or whatever the fuck it is? Like that an just... asexual person? Yeah. I hope, I hope, I don't know, because we, I would just go in there and chill with John, just get high. Yeah, you would. People would come in there <laughs> and be would. like, hey, they get their DVDs or whatever, and I'll look at it, they look super fucking weird. You ever see like, like anybody, like, like any tweakers? like family members? Nah, like just old ass fucking... Motherfuckers pulling up in Escalades and shit. Like, what the fuck y'all doing? It's like three o'clock in the morning. Y'all getting fucking Miss Butt Cake and shit. <laughs> Miss Doubtfire. Miss yeah. Spoutfire. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Spoutfire. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Took a minute, but we got it. We got him. Um. <laughs> yeah, love him. I. I don't know. Fuck Salino and Barnes. Yeah. I think the one guy died, didn't he? Right? Oh, shit. Salino? Spamino? I mean, he went out like Kobe did. Yeah. Damn. Ball so hard, you think that I'm Kobe. He when are people going to learn not to stop fucking flying those helicopters, dude? He stop was in Marine, them. too. Damn. Shouts out to him. R.I.P. Is that Salino or Barnes? Uh, I can't remember. I think it's... Because then he went off on his own and just started... <laughs> I think it's just Barnes now. Balling. Barnes is a baller. <laughs> big, I mean, doing big baller, his thing. Yeah. Big baller I'm brand. I'm seeing his shit everywhere. Who's that, Barnes? I think it's Salino. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what else. I had some... I don't really want to get into football. We're not going to talk about football in this podcast. Uh, yeah, don't even. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, this was on the previous episode, but Matt just pointed to, it says, huffing paint, and I had some neighbors that used to huff paint. You never know anybody that used to huff paint, Mike? Mm-hmm. Only your neighbors. Not like huff it, but like jokingly, they'd be like, yo, look, you guys know him. Um, His name who? starts with a J. Um, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, we're just talking about huff and paint, but the people down oh. the street they have like a they do like a paving company in like a sub shop, of course. <laughs> and they they huff paint, so I mean it's yo. Don't tell me that. What sub shop is it, Kyle? I mean, I can't say the name. So you can get a six inch and a I don't want to get a Krylon. I don't want to get a <laughs> <laughs> tell me after <laughs> this episode. <laughs> that was a six inch and a cry. I don't want to get no fucking subs. From yeah, the I don't. Place be, well, I don't want to get a citation in the mail from their fucking lawyer because they just want to huff paint. Be mad maxing it and shit in the kitchen. A six inch. Oh my god. You guys didn't get that reference. I see. You said Mad, mad Max. Max or something. Yeah. I don't even know what Mad Max is. Wow, he carries a lot <laughs> you guys of are babies, bro. I keep forgetting how young you guys are. Yeah, Mike. How old are you, anyways? 50? Papa turned twenty nine this November. I turned 25 on December 20th. Would you look at that? 23, 23, coming up. Uh, Back to the huffing paint thing. When I worked at Nike before I got hired there. <laughs> How? Well, it's the same thing. It's kind of like fucked up. Like, why would you do that? But kids used to eat hand sanitizer <laughs> at Nike. <clears throat> You're lying. Really? I swear to God, they used to eat hand sanitizer to try and get high. Who are these people right now? I I don't know. I worked there when I was still in high school, and this will be some good fucking baloney. The one man, <laughs> the one manager, the one day was talking about how 
she knew that we went and did a garbage run. So, like, we would have to wheel the garbage around to, like, the other side of the mall at the factory. Yeah, I know. I used to work at Zoomies. And somebody, like, took a picture of some shit or word got out that we went to this dude's car and we were, like, I think I was maybe, like, 17 or 18 at the time. But he had, like, a pack of, like, warm beer in his car. We, like, sat in his car and, like... Chugged a couple beers and <laughs> went back to work. <laughs> and the one manager that was like super cool with us, she was like, Yeah, that's cool and all, but I saw worse like on the clock. And I was like, What do you mean? And then she just told me that kids used to eat hand sanitizer in the break room to try and get fucked up. And they all got fired for it, but we didn't get in trouble. There's such, there's so many different better ways to get <laughs> fucked up that I could think of off the top of my hand. Like you could just huff a sharpie. Kids. You could just smell a sharpie. Um, I drank once on the job when I worked at the mall. It was, I think it was St. Patrick's Day, and my mom was actually at Matt's house. And then my mom brought me and my uh, manager each a beer and um, some kind of corned beef remnants. It was very tasty. And then I drank oh. a beer on the job. Yeah, when we had that party in my basement. That was probably, so that was a very long time ago. But, yeah, that's the only time I drank on the job. Just drink on the job. How about you, Mike? You ever drink on the job? Not at your current job, Bob. Well, no. I don't know. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. I can talk about this one job, though, that I had because they're shut down now. And it wasn't too long ago. You guys remember when that sandwich shop was open over there? McAllister's? It had, like, a big green Yeah. Line. Chunk, oh, used, where, Chunk used to work where, there. Yeah, we all, Chunk, son, we were all there. Steak Stone and Sushi, the yeah. same place. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. Bro. We, <coughs> we would, so it would be me, Chad, this other dude. I'm not going to put his name out there. Oh. I, my son, though. Shouts out to him. <coughs> we would fucking roll up some fat ass blunts and just take the garbage out whenever, like, that should get full. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And like we would let the two of us like no like all three of us will go out there and fucking s- literally smoke an entire blunt, take like, the trash out. Faced it each. No, like we would we would share the whole blunt. But oh, I was gonna say, how would you go back to work? Yeah, that's why. Uh, yeah, but we we were getting ripped at the sandwich space, dude. How how were the office politics at McAllister's? Was there a hierarchy was there were you the man were you the manager of the joint <laughs> nah, were you, dude, were you we mr were... McAllister? <laughs> this whole dude. mike McAllister. yeah mm i'm nah, sorry we were good workers i mean shit we were getting the shit I done i never said you weren't a, a quality uh i definitely was but i don't know about, you know, about <laughs> i don't know but i was getting ripped doing that shit and then i would take a fat ass dinner home dude oh my little God, subs bro. little snub they had the best sandwiches, but I don't know how the business failed, bro. I quit before they fucking, like, shut down. Do you think that had something to do with it? No, I heard the fucking owner was, like, stealing or some shit from it. He's the owner. He can do whatever he wants, right? <laughs> Not the owner, but the owner of that that particular store. Mookie McAllister. Yeah, it was me. Um, uh, um, My mom has a friend... Who lives up the street, this very street, and they have a Confederate flag on their house, and um, her name, her name, saving this? No, no. Well, it's kind of it's relevant to like huffing paint and like just being being oh. being good people. But oh, I she, can't wait to drive past that shit. But no, um, this shit is way heavier than I thought it was. Yeah, it is really heavy. Um, but no, she has um a Confederate flag on her house. And yeah, it's it's up it's up that way and Which way? Um, that way and um, yeah that way up, up up this street. Dad wouldn't say that shit. And um, her boyfriend Dad, has a uh, Confederate flag. <laughs> What's wrong with you? That way, her boyfriend has a DWI blower in his car, and um, like a handheld fucking breath. I think it's attached to the car. And uh, she needed a ride home, a ride somewhere from my mom because her boyfriend had, was using her car um, after the Bills game instead of uh, using his car that has a DWI blower in it. So that's kind of a smart workaround. I never thought of that. Without said device. Yeah, because so he could just use somebody use else's car, right? 
See, I heard about them saying they were going to put those in, like, people's cars for if they have, like, a DWI or if they're, like, a known fucking belligerent alcoholic. But I didn't know that that's actually a thing. Like, breathalyzers that you can't even start the car unless you... Yeah. Put your mouth on it. (laughs) Yeah. Pause. Unless you, like, aren't under the legal limit. Just a, you think it lets you drive if you're at like point zero five? Like yeah, sure, get in there, get in there, motherfucker. I don't know. That was kind of like one of those things that I heard, and I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. But I never really like looked into it. <laughs> Why would you? Uh, um, yeah. So they have a Confederate flag. They're on this, uh, this very street. <laughs> fuck them. <laughs> I don't know if she's a Confederate herself or it's just her. Um, her, boyf- sh- her boyfriend uh, or whatever. I think he used to play on the practice squad for the Raiders, actually, believe it or not. The fruits and, of her labor. And he used to play for the Confederate Army, obviously, too. Wow, well, I'll be his ass. <laughs> well, this guy can't be any spring chicken, then. He used to play linebacker for the for the frickin' Southern, Southern Army. <laughs> oh. When a Southern Army is fucking draw. You could fuck his wife. Oh okay. Would you fuck his wife? Well, yeah, I guess if I you're... wasn't engaged. Yeah, if you weren't engaged, I mean. <laughs> I'd, yeah, and then poop on his lawn. Yeah. <laughs> and not pick it up. Oh, my God. He came over, and, <laughs> and he was like, he he got a hold of the aux cord, and he was and he was <laughs> he was he was playing some fucking Confederate ass fucking tunes. I think is the gentleman's name was Rebel Son. He was just bumping uh, Rebel Son inside of my house. I'm like, what are you doing, man? This is brutal. An ox cord downstairs. Uh, no. Well, he was actually on like the YouTube on the TV. Oh. <laughs> and he was trying to he was trying to impress me and Christian with his um. With his tunes, and I mean, like, it, get your redneck ass out of here. It was a humble gesture. Um, I don't know if he's a redneck, but he's just kind of like white trash. Get your white trash shit out of here. I don't really know. Hopefully, I mean, he never pulls up when I'm here. He's weird. He's really. I mean, I mean, yeah, we could. You could fight him on the podcast. We could have him on the podcast, and maybe, maybe we could. Yeah, bring him on the podcast. That'd be great. We could thing. we could get him. Uh, Put him right there where Matt's hitting. What don't you like about that? No, I keep hitting it with my. Hand. Oh, I thought you said you hate it. I was like, oh. No, okay. no, I don't hate it. I just keep fucking. <laughs> it's like, oh, you I hate keep the crossing microphone. Crossing my arms and uncrossing them. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's get off the topic <laughs> of um, the Confederacy, the South trying to rise again. Fuck them. Yeah. Well, you are the breadwinner, so. I know. I gotta <clears throat> I gotta try and steer this ship out of the out of troubled waters. They hate us because they ain't us. Um, Uranus. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we were at, I was telling Mike about this, and you have a question for Matt, I think, right? About. Bro, I know you. Why are you lying to this man, Kyle? Me? Mm-hmm. About what? You know who Sarah J is, bro. <laughs> no, I did not Sarah? know until we went to. You um, fucking lying. El Cubalet. You lying. You and Justin lying. I swear to God, dude. Public call out. <laughs> Shout out. I'm a, <laughs> self-incriminating. Right. I'm not embarrassed to say Is I don't know. Is your girl going to listen to this? Probably not. Yeah. All right. So you got it. But he's still lying. <sighs> Honest to God. He fucking knew that. No, he, he I, swear, knew. I swear to God. When he said Vin Diesel <laughs> or you said Vin Diesel, <laughs> when it got brought up, I was like, what the fuck are these guys talking about? And then we got like a stock sheet or Google image, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, damn, she kind of does look like Vin Diesel, but no, I don't know who this woman is. Oh, yeah, Shutterstock. Yeah. Yeah. What did I say? Stock. You said spreadsheet or something. I don't know. I don't know. Something. Yeah, Shutterstock image like that with her fucking shaved ass head and fake titties. I have no idea. She kind of looks like the camel cigarettes camel, doesn't she, Mike? Would you say? (laughs) Joe Camel? Yeah, she kind of looks like (laughs) JC. Come on now. (laughs) JC the Ripper. That's experience right there. You can see the veteranness in her face. That's the Carlos Boozer of porn. (laughs) (laughs) It's a veteran presence. It's a veteran presence. Before I 
Well, I saw the title because I had listened to all of Kyle's podcast because Justin and I work in Lockport. Mm -hmm. So to and from work, it's a half an hour each way. So I'll be like <laughs> five in the morning getting in my car, like listening to him bullshit or you guys. And I'll be laughing my ass off. And then I saw that title, the Sarah J variant. It's my proudest title. And I'm just sitting there. I was like, who the fuck is this? And then you, you looked got, it up. No, I didn't look it up. Son of a bitch. It's I like know. I'll get like halfway through a podcast sometimes, depending on when I put it on, when I drive to and fro from work. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And then we went to LQ Ballet and then we started talking about it. And he showed me and I was like, I have no idea who the <laughs> fuck that is. She <laughs> might be a vet. And. Bless I the definitely good, know Justin knows. Bless the good Lord. That's he what could, I was surprised. He could smite me here if otherwise, but I didn't know that that was a porn star's name or anything or what she looked like. I believe you. I don't believe Justin, though, because he's an oldie. We're going to have to get him on the pod and pull out the lamp you and put it in his liar. face. I can't speak on another man's interests or business. I you can't speak on another man's words or touch another man's dead man's strings. <laughs> <laughs> I speak for the trees. Or what he puts on his private look. Or Do they even have that anymore? Yeah, don't put on a show for the... Um, Chicken heads. No, the private... Uh, what should we call it? Private safari? Can you still do that on your phone? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, I, don't even I think you're on private right now. That's why it's gray, right? Fuck Notre Dame. Oh, I don't know, man. Pre start. Oh. So it used to be down there. I don't fucking know. But um, No, I got the. I have the black mode on, so it's oh. like everything's dark all the time. Oh. Got but the what it mode? Used to be like black the, mode. The you mean dark mode? Black mode. Oh, black mode, dark mode. What? Come on, bro. Brown? I'm going to brown mode. I'm going brown mode. Um, I'm going brown nose. <laughs> yeah, brown nose. Uh, good old Modelo, huh? I don't know. What's, what's today? A Tuesday? It's well, this is This is nice, yeah. It's this, fucking Tuesday. This is nice. This is nice. I like a Modelo. It's um, booze day. It'd be nice if it was, like, warm outside, but, I mean, I'll take a Modelo in the cold. Son, look at my new fucking license picture. I look like a fucking hit man. Don't, like hit, don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with me, dog. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> don't. The bitch oh. said I couldn't smile. She look like Jason Statham in the Unabomber. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you kind of look like a like a like a wee like a wee character. She that said shit you looks couldn't smile. Yeah, bro. I'm like, she was like, you can't smile because of the glare in your glasses. I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with my smile? Fucking. What does that mean? Because it would lift fucking it up wench the or something flag. like. <laughs> or some shit, dude. I think so. I don't fucking. Yeah, know. those are nice uh, spectacles. Nice little glasses there. My they were all hoes and bitches in that goddamn DMV. Which one did you go to? Fuck them. Yeah, fuck the DMV and NT, yo. Oh, and NT off Wheatfield yep. Street. Yep. I thought that was the good one. Nope. I've Ours is better than theirs. Public call hands out. down. Public call out on the podcast. Yep. Folks. If you're taking notes, this is the third call out on this year podcast. Yep. And so they're I'm all from me. Self incriminating. Um, on here. Yeah. The Confederate up the street. Um, the Fuck N NT uh, DMV. Fuck them. And then you just call. Then you call out Justin. Not fuck That's, him, yeah, but, but fuck we just him, but we're lying. just looking for truth. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I know you know. Um. I don't know if, if Brushel said that he knew. I think he was. I think he was playing it quiet, kind of sitting back and just and just because uh, mm. he didn't want to say much, you know. I and I respect that. Wait, who? Uh, Brushel, Matt, other Matt, Matt R, oh. Matt R. Oh yeah, he didn't Rogerio say. Knows. Yeah, uh, yeah, he didn't say much. So I think he. I think it's just understood. Wise men know. Wise men, yeah, a smart. What do they say? Like smart people talk less and stupid people talk more. It's just I guess a, that's... It, it's just this new generation. It's these, just y'all new fucking kids. Fucking now if I said Mia Khalifa, oh yeah, we know. Yeah, we <coughs> we know Mia Khalifa. Excuse me. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> um. Yeah, Mia Khalifa. I hope you got some fucking sanitizer spray to spray on this. Yeah, I'll I'll get on it. Yeah, I'll get on it. Yeah, I'll get the I'll get the wax assistance these, on it. Wax yeah. these mics after we leave. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll spit shine them. Um, 
Yeah, I think Mia Khalifa, she doesn't really have as much as, of the role player energy as Sarah J does. Because Sarah J will take over the whole set. She'll tell people where to go, point cameras. Beyonce. Point cocks. Yeah, she's the Beyonce of porn, would you say? Does she, have, she has a perm, too, I think, uh, Sarah J. I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. I remember when Tristan had a perm. Really? Did he watch Sarah J too? You think he knows who Sarah J is? Nah, he never had a perm, but I definitely know he knows <laughs> who Sarah J is. Probably. You should call him and ask him, bro. You remember when we were when I was tagging Mia Khalifa in like every fucking post? That was funny. I forgot about that. That was funny. Back in that, I think that was when Austin lived with you. Shout out, Mister Austin, if you're out there in the ether. Yeah, man's. Is- Look at yo! I just keep looking out the window and seeing all these cars slowing down and shit, and just praying and hoping to God my mirror isn't fucking clipped off. Did you park in the road too, Matt? I parked behind you. Oh, you okay. Now I feel good. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't park on opposite sides. <clears throat> Not like this. I'm surprised it's down to pavement over here because over on like seventy <laughs> third and seventy fourth, it's like slushy, really bad. That gushy. Yeah. Yeah, no double, no double parking. But so I'm trying to go to a concert soon. A concert? Where? Outdoor I, concert? Indoor concert? Indoor. Um. Cold yeah, outside. they do. They do a free concert series that it's called Veterans Park in Wheatfield. That's just a bunch of kind of dadly shit. But that's in the summer, and that's every Monday night. Mm. And that's a good time if you just want to. Be drunk outside somewhere. Okay. Um, what like time? Getting drunk outside. Yeah, outside in Sundays the morning. Sundays at what time? No, Mondays actually. So. Really. Yeah. So there's never anything to do on a Monday night. You got work in the morning, but no, why not that's go? Actually, my Friday. Okay. So you're gonna go Monday's here. Monday's your at... Friday. Well, you could get fucking buck wild in the crowd then. With all the dads. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to be a dad soon. Yeah, you could know. impregnate somebody there. I mean, I'm trying to impregnate my fiance before a random. Point. Look at this guy! What a stand-up like gentleman! A idea. What a stand-up gentleman this Mister Mike is. You're just you're just answering all the right questions at the right time, <clears throat> bro. You got to. I've been throwing these these curveballs at you, trying to get you to be unfaithful on the podcast. Pussy's and you power. just you just you know kind of just dodge each one of them. And Gotta be a fucking hey, be a man. Is that what being a man is, Mike? That's what you think being a man is. I mean, shit. Your dog takes a shit in somebody else's lawn. Don't pick it up. Leave it be there. Be a man. Leave it there. If they got a problem with it, fight yep. them. Fight the person who owns the house. Yep. Don't fight the person who's renting the house. Go find the landlord and fucking beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And do it the next day. <laughs> Do you have any anybody um, beef with beef with neighbors besides my huffing paint neighbors? I don't really have. They're pretty chill. Does well, anybody that, have any shitty neighbors out there? Well, that one time Matt? with um, um well, or Mike? No, 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 no. Go ahead. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'm just saying. I know. I mean, because Matt lived in the same spot since forever. So yeah. I know his neighbors. S- ain't same changed. house. Yeah. I have a, f- a few stories, but if you have something to add, by all means, go well, ahead. Well, I have a cr- I mean, I think I have a pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. You already told your Anderson neighbor story. You already told your neighbor story. You talked about the one with Paul. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shout yeah. out, Paul. You were Snapchatting me while that was happening. Damn. I remember shit like that. Yeah. He said, I'm going to fuck you. No, I remember. Me, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> um. <laughs> The cop said, yo, did you uh, say you're going to fuck him? I was like, yeah. He's like, you can't say that to people. Yeah. What do you mean you can't say that to cops. people, bitch? You can't say fucking Nick. I mean, fuck. Yeah. What? Um, huh? What were you about to say? I said it. I just bleeped it. It was a bleep. Oh. So um, you can add that after effect. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it in post. The beep. Um, I remember one of Matt's neighbors, not the immediate house to the right of Matt's house, but two houses. I remember being somehow on elevated ground in Matt's backyard and looking over, and that neighbor had a he had a he had a punching bag, but he had a 
he had a he had a picture of like some kind of woman like taped to the punching bag. <laughs> there was like, <laughs> like what the fuck kind of <laughs> compound are you running over there? <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. What the fuck is going on? No bullshit, bro. Gr- I, that's true. Growing <laughs> up, my parents used to call that house and everybody in it Karate Kid because he would go out there and make like karate noises and oh beat out like God. a punching bag. I love that. That's so fucking... But you fucking it, there bitch. Was, there was like a cutout of... <clears throat> it had to have been like actual like photo paper or like canvas or something because it was an actual woman's face. But then on the punching bag, it was a very crudely spray-painted stick figure drawing. With of, tits on it? Yes. Of, yes. It. it was arms, legs, and like two very oblong big old hon- honkers with, with nipples and one of the sons or whoever long time ago used to just go out there at like midnight and like listen to like Eminem or Limp Biscuit like really loud I'm like yeah, yeah the like, music you want yeah. you're gonna yeah, never like let it go bad like you they were they were shot. beefing with my parents before I was like old enough to realize what was like going on around me mm-hmm. and they got a bb gun the one day and started like shooting out all the neighbors windows and they like shot through my parents window honkies yeah wow. just like just like some white trash shit some white devil shit <laughs> but yeah i'm surprised you remember that but yeah he used to because my neighbor who lives like it's in between the two houses from mine mm-hmm where I live, but it was a spray painted punching bag with like a stick figure boob and arms and this woman's face from like a cutout from something. It l- Go ahead. It looked like one of those like third world like compounds where people would like work out with like with like sticks with like rocks on them and like <laughs> <They're> <laughs> just be it looked like that in his backyard. Ooh, yeah. But he'd be out there like in the middle of the night, like midnight, just blasting music on his like random boombox. Yeah. The one that you <laughs> yeah. saw you here, Limp Biscuit. Yeah. Uh, fuck you, mom. Uh, yeah. And this guy just beating the fuck out of a punching bag in his backyard. Yeah. yeah. I don't want. That's I don't want beef with that. Me. That's what fucking started my whole shit with my neighbor, bro. But he ain't have no punching bag. That's why I think he said the N word, bro. If he had a punching bag, I think he can just fucking say the N word to himself if he was hitting a yeah. punching bag. <laughs> Fuck you, mom. Yeah. Listen to yeah. Biscuit. Yeah. But no, he looked over at me and said the N word. And I had time that day. Had time to kill. Um, That's great, though. I don't. Dude, I just, you don't have no neighbors like that. No, I. I don't. I had a dude next door who died, and then this dude who used to live next door. This his, this house. Yeah, they used to, some old, really old dude used to live there. And then, yeah, that was my eh. cousin. Really? Yeah. He was like nine, eighty, eighty years old. Yeah. He was pretty cool. I mean, I guess I don't think he was too. He was, he was old, old. Yeah. And then there's some dude that used to live next door. Him and his wife, and they had like, uh, I think she fell down the stairs and died recently. So. And that dude died too? Next door right here? Mm Mm-hmm. No, he moved down the street. Oh, shit. Good for him. Can you pause this real quick? I got to use one of your guys' phones. Um, yeah. No, you don't have to pause it. Yeah, we don't have to pause it. You can use my phone still. You could go out in the hallway if you want. I could just unlock the door. Why you got to use it? Why you got to use it, though? Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah. You can just edit that. Just me and Mookie. Um, yeah, yeah it, won't, it won't be able to hear that. But yeah, Tuesday Tuesday night beers. Mike's getting a little blidge. Got this cool got this cool outfit on, Mike. What's up with this cool outfit you got on? Why are you dressed up so cool? He's really dressed up really nice. It's a trap nerd season. Oh shit! <laughs> Trap nerd, Kyle. You know, I should get myself a nice little uh, order some shit. Little jumpsuit. 
No, I he think has some new colors in. I think he should send it to me for free because I have this platform. Get him on here, Mister Nerd, Mister Carlton, Mister Nerd himself. Just first names, not throwing out last names, but yeah, put get him on here, yo. I want to get the owner of uh, Foley's on here, Foley's Bar and Grill. No, you don't. <laughs> Why is that? Why don't I want to? Because you want to get Judy's on here. Judy's, yeah, Judy's. They make a good chicken wing, I guess, right? They got the best wings in the falls. Somebody fight me over that. Public shout out number four on the podcast. That's an open invite. Super. These hands are active. And Judy's hands down has the best wings in the falls. And I've had every wing in every fucking spot in the falls. I've had every fucking wing, every fucking wing. And in Buffalo. Haven't went out to Rochester all like that because I don't like to go out like that. But yeah, who gives a fuck about Rochester? Hey, you hey, better be careful with the words you say like that, Kyle. Uh, uh, just like a it. garbage plate, and it's like an hour and a half away. Right. But Judy's hands down has the best fucking wings in the fall. Sure. And your hide. Okay. Oh. I got the door. Okay, okay. And we, let's since we're on the topic of wings, let me ask you this. Hear it. Drums or flats? Well, I like a. I like a. This seems. I was the a. Deal. Okay, so this is the evolution of man here. This is what happens. When you're young and when you get wiser and older, this is what happens to you. And when you're, when you grow into a wiser, older, smart young person, man to a grown man. So a young man, a, a non-wise man, young ass man. A young man likes a drum because you don't gotta. There's no work, and it's instant. It's instant pleasure. Instant but, kill. But a man who understands life and is drank a few beers and maybe drove around after maybe eight or nine beers yep. and, and had a couple kids and treated them bad and didn't pay child support <laughs> didn't ever call you know see you know um yeah, yeah. They, that man a nice a seasoned veteran will like a drum and then pick apart the drum and split it in half and then because it's easier to dunk right Bruh. let's hear your opinion I, and I yeah, let's hear. Let's hear. I, don't, I don't know. I've, I feel like drums are drums are my shit. But I was a young ass man. <laughs> and then what happened? And then you get to a certain age, you figure out the Chinese little technique. And on every fucking flat, they, I mean, you can kind of tell when you eat it and kind of like get down to like the bone. They kind of come apart. So before you even eat that shit, I've seen a video of it. <clears throat> All you got to do is wiggle this little piece of the bone, pull that shit right off. All that is meat, G. It's all it's One that, bite. That's that meat. One bite, bro. And I've seen that shit. i seen some white girl do it on TikTok. She was like, it's the Asian technique, blah, blah, blah. And she did that shit, bro. And I was like, yo, she's cleared the shit in one bite. I was like, I got to do it. That's, you know, I don't know why it's the Asian technique, but I guess it is. I, and I was looking that shit up. I guess they do that shit a lot. <clears throat> but they use, uh, I mean, they like their chicken wings, but they like their chicken thighs. They like chicken thighs more than anything, yo. <clears throat> and I've been and I've been eating that shit more, too, because it's, they say it's more, like, flavorful and shit like that. You can get more, like, seasoning off your shit. Instead of like legs and shit like that, <laughs> it's good. Um, but yeah, I think Judy's probably does have the best wings, the best place to get uh, get your ass beat or beat somebody's ass is probably eighty seven buff. I was just there watching the game. I had to leave early for that Bills and Patriots game when I was there, dude. No comment. 
And um, the best place to is that Whipple whip? just yeah, Whipple just sent me. I I told him I was going to be here. I told him to pull up. I got a fourth mic. Believe it or not. I told him to pull up. Should I tell him to pull up? I mean, we're already like three quarters of the way. Hey. Yeah, I think. What's well, done is done, Whip. We'll get him on next next, next cast. Next season. Yeah, we'll get him on next okay. cast. There's always room. Um. So, yeah, I think I think the best place to, yeah, the best place to fight somebody is probably 87 buff. And the best place to see people who are on the brink of of dying is Foley's, probably. Yep. What would you say about all of the Buffalo Avenue bars and who has the, the best wings the in tra- town? Yeah. Well, I guess they, no no food on Buffalo Avenue, but yeah, I guess you could say best wings that you've had first. That's what me and Mike were just talking about, just in general, not Buffalo Avenue. Best yeah. wings, just in general. Yeah. Um. Leon's used to have really good wings. Ventries, they they can be hit or miss. Mm. Um, what? Nothing. I'm not talking about Ventries downtown. No, no, I'm not even talking about you. I'm talking about this nigga out the window pushing a shopping cart down the street. I know that shit don't belong to him. I don't think anybody why does that owns bother a sh- you so much. Because, nigga, why are you... P- like, bro, look what he's doing to all the other cars and make him drive around. Let's go yeah, beat his... Your car is right there. Yep. Let's go beat his fucking ass. Nigga, own a car. I own a car. Let's go fucking... <laughs> let's go fucking run him over. <laughs> um, Let's go run him over. Let's go beat him up. We'll go beat him up. Nah, we can't go beat up a random dude pushing a cart. Yeah, I got a nightstick. He already doing bad. No, maybe he's doing good. Maybe he's got a bunch of bottles in there that we can steal from him, too. Shout out to all those bottle families back in the day that used to go around the neighborhood and uh, cherry pick. (laughs) Shout out to those guys. I feel like they feed stank. Oh, for sure. They probably smell like fucking dog shit, but... Shout out to them. They were a, uh, there was a bottle family around here, and um, now the bottle family, or the bottle like people, people that go door to door, garbage can to garbage can. I think that stopped when the city started using uniform garbage cans. I think the city did that on purpose to eliminate stuff like that. Yeah, or my one coworker had a theory that. Like the garbage company who does all the uniform garbage cans that we all have, they do it so that people don't take the bottles and they, they get thrown out and then they they sort them out and then they take the money from the bottles the city does. And I was like, I don't know if that's far-fetched or not. Like through modern? Yeah. That, like could, a, that could be like a Ponzi scheme type deal. Yeah, so then the, the fucking, yeah, the bottle family doesn't take it. And then the company who takes the trash is able to sort out all the bottles and rake in the dough. What do you think about Mike? This is I'm I'm all ears because I'm Mike's just trying to open that beer and my keys downstairs with the bottle opener. And this really did it on purpose. No, um, I'll explain. No, I'm joking. He did. Um, is there? Does anybody know any different methods? As yeah, teeth. let me um. Christian's a Christian's a big teeth guy with Let me just I just gotta look up some shit from Sarah J real quick and then I'll be good. You wanna play I'll it on the open. pod? You wanna play some Sarah J audio on the pod? <laughs> I'll be able to pop it all open. <laughs> oh, okay. You think you're gonna uh, so you're gonna are you insinuating that you're gonna use your No, I actually have I've got a bottle opener. Um just talking about this lovely outfit that Mike's got on, don't you think it's just great? Yeah, I... <laughs> just go grab my keys from downstairs. No, I have I have some in my room. <laughs> All right, hold the hold the mics there, fellas. Don't uh, I'm gonna be uh, yeah, ten seconds. Mics. Don't take over this. Uh... Don't say anything. No. That's Cracker. Oh. Kind of mean. So what's my fucking up, dude? Where the fuck are you working at again? I work at a uh, custom laser ink. Me and Justin, 
What are you like? What is what is what's your position? We powder coat all day. Yeah, I work with that powder. What's my position? Yes. Yeah. So you guys gotta wear like big ass one piece suits, <clears throat> Tyvek suits, respirators. Yeah, the whole fuck all nerves. that. Mm-mm. I hope you guys live past thirty five. I really do. <laughs> they say it's all non toxic, but yep. Of course they do. I don't believe it. Yeah, my guess where their CEOs are living. And fucking br- Not in Lockport, New York. Nope. Where we fucking work. Nope. My ex wife used to say I was toxic. <laughs> Dude, I hope my marriage fucking lasts long. I'm not even married yet. I just hope it does. <laughs> I'm trying to have like at least five kids. I want to have a whole mess of kids and then get divorced and never see them again. Nah, fuck all that, dude. I don't want child support. I want to be a horrible father. I want to be a tyrannical, drunk meanie. Honestly, if I'm not able to have kids, I just want to adopt Asian kids because that shit's in a blood. You're sterile? You, know. you can't have kids? No, nah, if I'm able to. What do you if mean? I'm if not you're, able you're shooting to. blanks? No, I'm just saying because I, I've heard it's like, it's not like all easy like that. I've heard stories from like some of our friends, dude. It wasn't easy. Like just, no. it wasn't just a one time fucking. You can't just shoot the club up one night. And, yeah. Yeah. And expect it. It doesn't work like that, G. And I thought it did. Just other, shoot her. Other people are the complete opposite. Yeah. Just exactly. shoot her in it. Yeah. Just shoot her in it. And shout way. out to my fucking niece. I was just born out in Cali. They. Oh, yeah, the door. Uh, is the door locked? I don't know if that little switch is on the door, but, yeah, that up top, the gray thing, yeah. You can just undo Didn't that. Shy. Good shit. <sighs> Healthy pregnancy. I don't have Healthy any sister. siblings, so I don't have, I'm not going to have any nieces. Dude, now I just got, nephews. so now I got two nephews and two nieces. And I'm the only one with the fucking no kid. It's weird. Do you want to have them soon? I don't even know. I don't even know, Kyle. Well, I feel like 30. My mom had me when she was... Th- 30 is a decent age to have a kid. <sighs> yeah, 35, 40 is probably pushing it, right? I don't know. What yeah. do we think out there, folks? Let's decide on this podcast, whichever comment gets the most upvotes is when Mike will have his kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever Mr. B yeah. says. Yeah. <laughs> However many beers you put in the comments, I'll dr- uh, I'll drink and then go drive around. <laughs> God damn it. Um, at least it doesn't get dark at like 4.30 anymore. That's nice. I like when it doesn't get dark super early. Right, Mike? Yeah. Are you breaking shit again? No. No. Fuck. Mookie Brenson breaking uh. shit again. Mookie Brenson being silly with his feet again. Dude. What happens? You soil yourself? I dropped something. I know. It's kind of tight over there. I apologize. Yeah, you better apologize to these folks. It's not easy being fucking greasy over here in the fucking... Mike dropped some shit, and it went underneath the table, and the table has a little thing that... It's kind of like a little hole. See what I'm sitting on. Yeah, I kind of. I mean, I'm sitting on a little. Oh, okay. I see that. Oh, you don't even have the. It's not even the magnet. Oh, you took that from my little cupboard? Mother Hubbard's cupboard? Yeah, I thought it was a magnet. I think there's a condom in there, too. Wow, dude. You have little trinkets in here. Yeah, there's a little. There's an extra small condom. and. Uh... There's not a condom in here. Uh, look to your top left. Nope. You sure? Oh, there is. Lifestyle. There we go. That's a gentleman's condom right there. I would rip through that like the Incredible Hulk. There we go. You heard it here first, Mike. Or folks, not Mike. You just said it. Yep. Uh, I think I got that from school. They would like give it out to you for free just because they're like the shitty. Lifestyle's like the shitty condom, right? It's not shitty. It just fits the average male. Fucking A. Yeah. What are you going to do? Get a box of lifestyles, I guess.
folks um yeah you ever have any like fucked up shit with like customers robbing each other or shit like that because i had some shit happen with me uh this was that was that was monday so it was yesterday some dudes they were out in the parking lot and one they got into an suv and then he got yeah. out give me a sandwich yeah and then he then he started walking away and he was looking over his shoulder and then, um, and then he came into the lobby entrance, and he like we have sliding doors, and he fucking ran into the the thing because it didn't open up quick enough. Help me! Help! Yeah, and it was like fucking twelve o'clock at night. Help. I'm sure you get a million crazy things probably happen there every night, right? Or, or is your secure is your security top notch? Uh, you would think, right? You would think so, right? That the security is good, or that mm. things would happen there every night. Security is good. Things happen there every fucking night, though, Kyle. <laughs> it's like a TV show. Like I said, dude. It's literally, if you go in there, dude, and just pulled your camera out and walked around the entire night from twelve o'clock in the afternoon to twelve o'clock at night. It would be a fucking, and if you stayed overnight until like four, six in the morning, dude, yeah. that's when shit starts getting fucking weird, bro. It's like a TV show, literally. Fucking, you'll see some, you'll see some just crazy random shit, dude. People are, and then people are nasty too. On top of that, like, like hygiene wise, and like, you wouldn't even, ugh. I, I don't even think I'm allowed to be talking about this shit, but people don't know. Fuck what it. You. What do you think? Eh, fuck. Well, I mean, everybody's fucking disgusting. I got fucking. It's horrible. Um, so I'm curious, what, like, on any Monday or Tuesday night at like midnight, in between like, like two a.m., is there? There's gonna be. Is there like a lot of people there at night? So there's always it's, there's always a steady crowd there, and it's always like the elder, elderly like crowd. Um, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays is when the young crowds come in, and that's when our little nightclub is open, and that's when usually shit starts to pop off. Sometimes Mondays, Tuesdays, weird shit happens. We'll get like these out of towners that. Don't know the fucking how to act when they get drunk here and how shit, you know, how shit is. You know what I mean, dude? And people are just retarded. You know what I'm saying? Don't know how to handle their beer. And then they make their home state look like pieces of shit when they come here and act like, you know, jackasses. Yes. But yeah, I feel, yeah, like at a bar or something inside of there and. Just say the wrong thing or look mm -hmm. the wrong way even, and then they just fucking get there. Yeah, I could see that. Just because things, it's, yeah, it's not the same. It's different, dude. It's different everywhere. I mean, it's different here. It's, I don't know. It, it, it's just when people don't know how to act when they get liquor in their system, dude. People get, some people will just get weird and get angry and fucking for no reason. You know what I mean? Amen. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers, cheers to that. Modelo. Cheers. Modelo. Um, I feel like I just get really like I get like really jokey, la like wanting to like roast or or just make jokes, and then eventually I get so drunk that I just that I just like shut off and I just sit there. Yep. Yeah. That's probably okay. the same for everybody, right? 
A little bit, yeah. Or not just, the jokey part of getting so drunk that it's just like, well, now I'm tired and I'm yeah, drunk, I'm about to pass so. out. Yeah. yeah, I'm tired. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm or, tired. Shut the fuck yeah. up. Uh, kind of. I can't even remember the last time I was with you when you were drunk. I, I would, uh, you're probably just as silly of a drunk as anybody, right? Yeah, Is that how? That's probably how you are, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent silly. Oh fuck you! Hundred percent silly, dude. I'm always silly. I didn't see I'm that a silly guy. I didn't see that at all. It's all right. It's We're all silly when we get a little spirits in us, dude. Some people, some people like are get super like touchy and like aggressive though. Yeah, it's like the eighty-seven buff crowd. Have you ever? You said you went into eighty-seven buff, bro. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like. Little Dom showed up there. Little Dom, shout out to Little Dom. Shout out, my man's. Um, yeah, I'm there watching a little bit. No, actually, no, I'm not there with Little Dom. But still, shout out to Little Dom. I was there watching the game with Marco and X. And X is a Pats fan. We were the only Pats fans in there. Yeah, he left super fucking early. The game was still close as hell. And I'm looking at this one dude. I'm like, yo, Marco, this dude keeps fucking staring at me. G, like, like really staring the fuck at me, like awkwardly. Like, not no, like, yo, fuck your team staring at you. Like, just awkwardly staring. What did he look like? Dude, he like he was strung out on coke. Some, like, middle-aged fucking white dude fucking strung out on coke fucking, I don't know. But, dude, I don't give a fuck what you doing. Keep that shit over there. But Save some for me. Halftime, I was like, yo, I'm peacing out. He was like, yeah, me too. I was like, yeah, fuck this. My dude, I, one of one of the dudes I know actually, like, he, like, owns part of the bar or some shit like that. So Of 87 buff? Every time I see him in there, he fucking, I'll talk to him for a second because he used to work where I I work now. Mm-hmm. Same department shit. Cool dude. Shouts out to him. But yeah, dude, I don't know. Any other fucking bar out right here that I got tap? I got tore up there with fucking Marco and X before. I got fucking dumb lit and then i just i remember one night i was fucking drunk as hell out there smoking a cigarette i see fucking keys jumping over the goddamn fence i'm like yo he's like yo i'm like bro you did you i was like did you like need help coming in or something he was like yeah i was like bro why didn't you hit me up He was like i didn't know who was here i was like bro he snuck in the tap. I, like, I think you, a lot of people do that. They jump over the back wall, like people who are under 21 and stuff like yes. that. Somebody else who's my friend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why they made it lo- like bigger. Yeah, now you got to fucking scale it. Yeah. Fucking, fucking uh, Great Wall of China. Um, Great Wall of Tap. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is with 87 buff, but it's like... It's not like they're giving out coke at the fucking bar, but like everybody there is like a creepy, creepy cokey fella. Yeah, dude. It's. I mean, I lo- I love it there too. Don't get me wrong here, folks. Don't don't go on your um, devices and say, Kyle. Old Kyle's talking smack about the the mecca. I love that joint. No, I don't I'm gonna have know. my baby shower there. No. <laughs> Same for. I feel like Tap has similar energy. Or it might even be tap is probably a little bit third street tap room probably is a little bit more of wholesome less cokey <laughs> third vibes. Third street tap room, right? Is that or that's what it used to be called, right? I don't think it. Yeah, I, no, I think it was just tap. Tap. I don't fucking know. I, I don't give a fuck. Because third street is a winery right there, that's the true. wine place. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Tap is just like it's a lot of nu folk, right? Which is which it's is a not, college kid yeah, bar. Yeah. That's because that's the only time they open is during the fucking. Mm-hmm. The uh, what the yeah, summer just the time? semester, yeah, um, yeah. Me, Christian, and some other, um, we went in there when it was not during the school semester. It was like either 
summer or winter uh-huh. and there's literally nobody in there we're like yeah. what the fuck are we doing here this is horrible there's literally two people yeah and it's like third street could be a cool area but i guess just not a lot of people live in, in that area no it's, i don't know because it could be a lot with tourists in the sun i don't know yeah dude it could and like a whole t- a whole bunch of tourists could like be chilling it but there's another bar literally down the street right there at the corner that's nicer than tap I feel like the only time tap is popping is when the word gets out to other people. And it's like, yo, you going to tap tonight? Let's meet up at tap because that's yeah. how it usually was with our friends. Yeah. And and like 10 of us could fill up the fucking bar, dude. So What's the other bar that you're talking about? Which one? You said that there was a better bar. That far down the sh- it's literally like it's the one that's 20 next- feet down from tap to the left across the street. It's almost at the corner oh, right there. Oh, yeah. You can almost see inside. The they have like is... glass, big glass windows. Yeah. What the fuck is that called? I, I don't know what the... F- it's on the corner, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking and about. And it's nice, dude. I've... You go in there, you can get nice, good food. They serve good food, like good bar food at least. And um, yeah, it's nicer, cleaner than tap and shit. They have fucking good TVs and shit. Yeah. They even have a fucking old school ass fucking Nintendo fucking Sega shit That's in there. pretty cool. It's a nice touch. Right, so it's a fucking, they have competition on there, so obviously they're only going to be open when college fucking is in session is when they can get their business going. Yeah. Because like you said, I went in there with Marco before when it wasn't really popping, and it was shitty. It was just like me and him in there. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's literally fucking a joke. Um, uh, yeah. Back before, when I was like a freshman and a sophomore in college, I don't know if you've ever been there. Partners? Have you ever been mm-hmm. to Partners? <laughs> partners was like the pre. Partners walked, so tap. Well, I don't know if Tap Room is running. Like, I was going to say Partners walked, so Tap Room could run, <laughs> but I feel like Partners was the pinnacle of like college, like. And even like high school, I'm pretty sure we were, well, maybe we were going there in high school or just before college, but like 2014, 2015, that was definitely the first bar I ever went to because they wouldn't ID you because you could just go in there. Yep. Shout out to partners. I don't, I don't know if Shout it's still out open. To partners. Yeah. Um, it was just, that's like the stickiest floor joint in the city. Yeah. And half the girls who graduated with work there now. Mm-hmm. And then the other half of the girls are like 16. Yeah. Just going there from high school. It's crazy, bro. I'd be seeing girls on Facebook and shit, like little, like friends, little sisters and shit, talking about fucking, yo, working at Partners tonight. Like, what the fuck, dude? Unfriend. <laughs> Show less. It's just, just awkward, bro. Why is that like the new norm? Everybody's trying to get into this easy fucking scheme to make money just to show their titties and coochie off it's fucking horrible and it's shitty for guys like us too because i tried well i still stream just a little bit but kyle the streaming world dude is nuts because a girl can get on there dude with her titties full blown out and you will know what the fucking message is the fucking stream son when she's streaming yeah she's playing a game but She's almost butt ass fucking naked, son. Doesn't That's, get banned or you know, but if uh, if somebody's talking, not particularly a guy, but if somebody else is like streaming and they say like you know fucking bitch fucking cunt, yeah, just you like a faggot, vulgar, yeah, yeah, they can get banned, dude, forever. You know That's what I mean? Crazy. And I think that shit is fucking that shit is bougie right there. I feel like that. <laughs> like a macro example would be like like just porn like just running our whole society and that's going to be the only thing that people care about and do is just like watch porn and then everybody and then the society will just disintegrate cuz everybody's on like Oculus porn cuz eventually porn is going to get better than having sex with your significant other or the girl that you met at fucking partners yeah but a lot of people a lot of people don't even like watching porn dude a lot of people don't even show me one 
I know a few. That's malarkey. They're lying to you. They're lying. Through I their, mean, I... they're lying through their teeth. No, but I, it's if you can abstain from watching it, it's probably good for you in the long run, for it sure. It is. It is a lot. But obviously, well, it's... men. I feel like I feel like it's a different field from men and women. For men, especially because we have high levels of testosterone, dude. We have testosterone. We need to, you know, what I'm saying, let that shit off sometimes, bro. Shout out to all my high T kings out there. Yes, sir. Tune into this podcast. Keep Nothing doing but you. Men. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, but yeah, I, I don't. I I feel like. A, a girl and a guy would probably watch porn for different reasons. And I, Our, feel, well, yeah. I feel like men watch it more than women. Oh, for sure. Right? But, but women, I don't know. Yeah, I, I literally don't know. But women, I feel like, are freakier than men. Probably. I hear that a lot. Because a man is just so easy to satisfy. Yes. It's like you just fucking... Any girl fucking Sarah J... DP, sign me up. Yes, sir. And then you get, the, but then that's obviously just like it's just like jerking off. But then like I feel like a girl would do like a whole different thing with like incense and tarot cards and fucking yep, your soul gymnastics. Yeah, doing a split, doing a soul split, dude. I mean, it's women. I feel like <laughs> women have a power. The P is power, bro. And just talk. Speaking of P, I don't know about that new Gunna album. Everybody's talking about. It's just kind of dookie to me. I've been seeing the the P emoji on uh, all of my social media applications. Mm-hmm. Um, like I've said a million times on this podcast, my like my rap listening is stuck in. 2016 or 2015 and I, I just feel like like I have time to listen to it but it's like I just don't really give a fuck I guess mm-hmm. but I mean some of the some of the new stuff's good I like of course like Benny's great obviously and yeah. Conway and stuff like that but I feel like kind of like internet kind of rappy rap type shit of course. just doesn't wet my whistle like it used to but yeah, because a lot of shit's starting to really, really sound the same. And shit ain't fucking... There's, I feel like Benny and them are starting to bring back that old school shit, and I'm, I'm liking it, to be honest. Because it's like something that's familiar, but it's definitely different from what is popular nowadays, right? That's why it's, and I mean, of course they're from here, so that's just awesome and they're yes. super talented. And it's not even like people like them just because they're from here. It's like they're really, really good. And they have like cosigns from all the, all the who's who's and who's nots. Right. Yeah. And so, son, they fucking are, <laughs> they're starting to fucking do like features and partnering up with all these fucking big ass names like Lil Wayne and shit like that dude Kanye like what's I did a song with Kanye this shit is fucking uh, popping bro Tyler Tyler too which is really cool yeah dude and they're continuing to do music so it's just goes to show you oh shit shit's possible bro for everybody it's just possible for everybody here in America at least yeah, um, on Russia and Ukraine though. Did yeah, you see fuck what's them. going on there? They're too pale and uh too pale. They don't get any vitamin D, so they're all just sad. But they do drink a lot of vodka. I don't know if that makes them happy or sad. But shout out to all my listeners in the Ukraine. Uh, uh, hey, fuck with them. <laughs> I fuck with Russia, I know. Um Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I, I just them. really I fuck with Ukraine just because I fuck when I I talked to this dude that went to our school that was in a foreign exchange uh program. And uh at the high school? Uh-huh. And that's uh I got him on fucking box and everything, dude. Um but yeah, dude, it's just been like 
has everybody's been on like it's just like the new norm of being on like high alert now without them fucking getting in their cars and like dipping out of this like his like state and shit trying to fucking go to a like <laughs> leaving like escaping his fucking country just because fucking they're scared for Russia invading and shit like that and they just fucking see military all day, every day, dude, driving down their street, tanks and shit like that. Like, imagine that, dude, every day waking up and just seeing a tank going on the street with cars and shit. Just dudes, like, marching on shit. It's like, what the fuck? Walking. Yeah, walking down Buffalo Avenue or Niagara Falls Boulevard, strapped <laughs> troops, up. Troops marching out front of 87 Buff while I'm it's... fucking blackout drunk, smoking a fucking Winston. Chilling. Trying to hold my throw up in my stomach. After I just fucking, I don't know, fucking pissed all over the floor in the bathroom or or snuck in a beer underneath my shirt. Oh, dude, mad people be going to jail. <laughs> mad people be going to jail. Yeah, I think I think eighty seven Buff is just a conduit for the Niagara Falls Police Department. Mad. <laughs> if there was a, any type of National Guard talking about yo people were patrolling the city streets, there would be so many arrests. Military arrest, fucking just people downtown, let alone. No. It's not too bad up here. Yeah, I, I feel like 80, 87 of all people just get like get their ass beat and then they just get thrown out and then it's fine. They actually, they, the cops only showed up. The cops showed up once and I think it was because they were open too late and it was like some early like pandemic bullshit where they were trying to fucking like at a certain time you close mm. but then that we they turned off all the lights like it was a house party it's like this is a this is an establishment <laughs> and you're going to turn off all the lights like shh, 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 shh. one of the first house parties that I was ever at where that happened I think it was the first house party I was ever at was at Paul's house and um I think I was I I think he I don't think I was in high school I think he might have he might have been a senior or I was a, I don't think I was a freshman yet. He might have been a senior, or maybe he was even younger than that. And I was at a house party there, and the cops came, and then they're like, "No, you just need to be quiet." And then they leave, and then they left. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first—that's a valuable lesson to all you kids out there. Just shut the fuck up for a second. Yeah, nobody even has house parties anymore, so it doesn't even yeah. matter. Nope. Yeah. And if you do, I don't know. It's kind of boring and whack now. I don't know people's. I don't know, dude. Little get-togethers are better than parties. Get-togethers are, are are the thing now. Yeah, like going to a place like going to like a like a wheat field foreign territory or like Lockport to like a house yep. party just with like you and like three friends and just like okay, we're just going to meet people like that. It's like, well, I'm kind of old now, so it's not really mm -hmm. beneficial. It, it's not like there's going to be like-minded people that are like our age that are like and like I'm, what the fuck is the best scenario of us going to a party in Lockport and not busting nuts? Yeah, exactly. You think yeah. I'm not gonna go in there and not bust a nut? I'm gonna bust as soon as I walk through the door. Yeah, and if I'm not busting nuts, I'm not coming. Yeah, if I can't let semen out of my body at your party, guess what, Jack? I ain't coming. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? <laughs> semen parties. Right. But yeah, hanging out with the guys like in the summer, like outside, just goofing around mm -hmm. or roughhousing, forget about it. That's the best. Yeah, 100%. And then getting your coochie wet. Yeah, getting a coochie wet. Um, yeah, inviting a little Tinder date over, a little Tinder hottie over to the party. It's beautiful. That's what fucking life is all about, in my opinion. What happened with you and little boot thing out in fucking? Out, uh, out there? Uh, in the city. That was a long time ago. That was in like the city. that was in this when the lights go, go down. down. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a short-lived little thing, but hey, you know, I did it. Did it. Uh, she was Asian. Uh, she's Puerto Rican or Puerto Rican. Okay, close okay. but no cigarillo. Close but no black and mild. Damn. Did she uh, speak support? Did she speak Spanish to you a lot? She would kind of. She would say like "ay dio," like shit like Adio that. Mio. Ay dio, it's like shit like that a lot. But yeah, okay. I don't think maybe she did speak uh, Spanish. Oh yeah, puto. Yeah, shit like that. Damn, that's fucked up. She um, called you a pussy or a bitch? No, no, she would just no. I was just saying that. Oh, bicho? I think yeah. I don't fucking know. 
I don't I don't speak the language of the people. Your but yeah. Homo yes. Está? No homo. Um <laughs> she was a good lady and um I did have a recent bumble. No homo. No homo. Uh, I had a recent bumble adventure this summer. And that was really something else. That was um summer of twenty twenty one. A little late. It's like when you're on these apps. I don't know if you're on these apps out there, folks. I met my fiance off this app, these apps. Exactly. So it works out there, folks. Yeah. It does. Any of my lonely kings out there, just don't worry. It works. Yep. But there was this um, young lady who I had matched because on these apps, you match these people a couple times. Like you match, yeah. unmatch, and then they come back, they come and go. They come and then, out of nowhere. And then the one time I matched this lady who I had definitely seen before in my um, matches. And when she suggested to hang out first, which is, I don't know if that's a red flag or if that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah. Because it it didn't seem like any kind of malicious horniness. And times are different. Yeah, exactly. So she was like, and it was like probably like the third or fourth message. She was like, yeah, this sounds a little crazy. Or I don't know. She said some stupid shit like this sounds bonkers or some dumb shit like that. And then, um, like, we should hang out. And I was like, sure, I'm going to be out in, I was out somewhere getting my, getting my freaking second shot of the freaking vax, dude. And mm-hmm. then um, he's like, I'm getting mine too the same day. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, I don't, I don't, it was just a coincidence. Then we hung out. It was pretty chill. And then uh, we ended up having uh, sex in the, this wasn't the same day, but in the parking lot at uh, the River Road, the Gratwick Park, mm-hmm. where there's a nice, some soccer fields. Mm-hmm. So a good place to go hang out and um, make some whoopee if you want, if you're looking your for a spot. Wet. Yeah. And there was, we were doing it and there was a car that pulled up next to us and then it was, we were like, oh, fuck. But then they got promptly into their backseat as well. So it's like, well, everybody's fucking here. Everybody fucking. Yeah. We all fucking. You like the car fucking, or I don't like the car fucking that much. Never done it. Really? Nope. Well, somebody fuck him in a car. Yeah. Never never done it before. Got a handy in there, but driving, but. Not even roadhead? Just a hand? Yeah, that too. Lend me a hand? Hopefully my fiance never watches this. No, we're, we're way too deep now into this conversation. We are... An hour and 22 minutes. <laughs> All right. This let's is start, ridiculous. Yeah. Let's start killing it. You want to you wanna wrap it up there, Yeah, Mike? we'll wrap it. Yeah. I'm sorry for holding you here. It's almost, it's, all right. it's almost 6 p.m., but we had a hoot. It's all right. I've we had a good time. Since yesterday. Oh, boy. What time? 7 p.m. Oh, shit, Mike. <laughs> so you've almost been up for 24 hours. You're, yeah. you're on your 23 hours. You've been awake for 23 hours. <laughs> Um, but, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Um, yeah, shout out to Mr. Matt, of course, being on the pod. Yes, sir. Um, shout out to Mr. Mike Mookie. The Mookie Bets. Mookie Brents. The Mookie Bets of Garden Pals. The Mookie Bets of Niagara Falls. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, and thank you to you, the good listener at I'm home. About to make that my Twitter name, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> the Mookie Betts of Niagara Falls, the famous uh, outfielder for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Literally about to make my name that right now. Um, is it valid? It is. Is it though? That's for the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, Mike. All right, I'm making it right now. Fuck it. So it's this has been Garden Pals number 112 for Thursday, February 10th. The year is 2022. Um, drank a couple beers, had a couple laughs, uh, told some stories. Um, maybe there were some dry spots. Maybe there weren't. <laughs> but, hey, we put it all on the line. And... Um, <laughs> We made um, it happen, folks. We made it happen. Any parting remarks for the good folks, the good listeners at home, Mike? Yeah, shouts out to fucking Kobe's family. You know, R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. Um, 
uh fuck i just fucking um found out this new artist i think you would enjoy um kyle let's hear it his name is zach fox oh yeah i know zach fox yeah yeah he's a silly guy yeah 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 silly guy yeah i started listening to that um and shouts out to the roots yeah the roots are good quest love fucking started jamming to them a little bit so but shouts out to all the local businesses dude i try to fucking (laughs) try to fucking yeah shout out to my drug dealer (laughs) i don't know that moo moo i don't know that is shout out to the guy that enables me and and furthers me away from my wife and kids yes (laughs) um (laughs) <laughs> um yeah we'll, we're gonna end it here now because i, I thought i was y'all. gonna i thought i was gonna end it about a minute and a half ago but now we're really gonna end it right mike yeah i love everybody listening all right love you mike love you too <laughs>